Well done. Asante sana. Tarehe 27 mwezi wa sita mwaka wa 2012. William Ruto alikuwa kule katika Citizen TV akihojiwa kuhusu mambo ya ICC. Na mambo ya ICC yalikuwa yamefanyika kwa sababu kulikuwa na mauaji mwaka wa 2008 when we had the tribal crashes na he was taken to the ICC as an accused of one who may have caused the deaths of 1300 people wakati ule alipokuwa kule citizen alisema ya kwamba yale mauaji ya watu 1300 hayakufanyika kwa jia ya michale lakini ilikuwa imefanyika kwa sababu askari ndio walikuwa amewaua ama wamewaua zaidi ya 70% of those who had died he was corrected then but what he was saying then is exactly what seems to have happened under his watch the day before yesterday we have seen in these words and uh, down at morongo injuries that have been caused by police bullets all gun woods na wale ambao wanabeba buduki Kenya hii ni askari polisi peke yao kwa hivyo kuanza kucheza cheza na mdomo hapa ati fulani aliua mwingine na mwingine hiyo ni mambo ambayo haina maana kwetu na ni mambo majeruhi inajieleweza inajisema we can be able to tell from the woods when we were down at morongo the patients would say i was shot by a person when alikuwa alikuwa amefaa guo ya laia na amejifunika macho others were clearly saying that they were shot by uniformed police officers i associate myself with the words of our uh, vice president former mheshimiwa karonzo we in azimio are involved in peaceful demonstrations when police officers have kept their space In fact when they have remained within their stations we have not had any kind of injuries like the ones we are seeing now nor even the destruction of property. Kwa hivyo eh mheshimiwa William Ruto ni vizuri ajue ya kwamba wale ambao wamewajeruhi na wameoa wengine ni wale ambao wanafanya kazi chini yake. Na ni vizuri ajiulize hii ni kusema nini? Ya pili yangu na ya mwisho ni, ni yale ambao mheshimiwa wa Elia amesema. Huyu judugu anaitwa Gachiedhera. Ameanza kutoa vitisho sasa kwetu. Ati anasema sijui kioni wa Elia maadha wanapeleka maandamano Mount Kenya. Tena kama vile mheshimiwa Karonzo amesema, maandamano ambayo tunayaona Kenya hii sasa ni alaiya wenyewe wakijitokeza kusema ya kwamba hali ya maisha ni gumu zaidi tena viongozi kazi yao sio kuamka kila wakati kutisha kutukana kuogea maneno ambayo ni machafu hata mbele ya familia hayo ndio mambo ambayo yanawafanya wakenya wajitokeze kwa maandamano kwa hivyo hii mambo ya kufikiria kwamba utatija sisi ya tutusiende mauti Kenya tutakuwako ukitaka kuhama we hama lakini sisi tutakuwa kule kama kuna maandamano tutaenda huko kwa sababu hata huko bei ya unga ni sawa na bei ya uh, unga hapa Machakos lakini mimi nataka kusema shukrani kubwa sana kwa governor and his whole health team very clean facilities well taken care of doctors who are clear in what they needed to do what they have to do next the condition of the patient very very impressive i believe that many other governors may want to come and do benchmarking with governor wa Vinya. Na pia watu wa Machakos, asanteni sana kwa kujitokeza. Mheshimiwa Karonzo wako wako hapa. Ah lakini kule alikuwa nyinyi mlijitokeza hapa kusema sisi wote ni wa Kenya na hali ya maisha ni gumu na usije ukawa muoga 
tokea uongee leo those who are injured there their blood their pain is not in vain wewe fanya yako pia pana kaa kitako bure thank you wow asanteni kwanza tuko hapa kupatia